Let me know if this sounds familiar to you. So you're in the process of setting up a new tank and you're at the store to pick up some new plants. They have an amazing collection and all the plants look super colorful. So you pick out the ones that you like the most, you take them home and plant them in your aquarium. Everything looks super good, you're really happy with the end result and you can't wait for these plants to start growing. But then a week later, maybe two weeks later, the plants don't look as good anymore. They're not as colorful as when you bought them and some of them are actually losing leaves or even melting. So if that sounds familiar, then this video is for you. What's up guys, this is Mark from MJ Aquascaping, partnering with PRS Freshwater. So the topic of today's video is how to improve your plant colors, how to make them look more vibrant. I actually have five tips that will help you with that. But before we get to those five tips, let's quickly talk about what could be the reason why your plants have lost their colors. So the first reason is you've chosen plants that are not suitable for your setup. So usually when we're in a store and we're seeing all these beautiful plants, we're immediately drawn to the ones that are the most colorful. But with aquatic plants, the most colorful ones are also the most demanding ones. So the plants that require the most amount of light, the most amount of CO2 and nutrients as well. So if you have a low-tech tank or a tank without CO2, but you've chosen a bunch of high-tech plants, then they might look good for the first two weeks, but after that they will, show, they will start showing signs of stress, they will start losing their colors. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe you have chosen the right plants for your setup, but they're still not growing and showing their vibrant colors. In that case, maybe the plants are not getting what they need in terms of nutrients. Maybe you're using uh, sand or gravel as a substrate, so the plants are like growing their roots, but there are no nutrients for them to find. Or maybe you're using a liquid fertilizer that actually doesn't contain all the nutrients that plants need. That could be another reason. But what if you've chosen the right plants and you're providing them with everything they need and they're still not growing, they're still not looking good. Reason number three is your plants might be covered by some sort of algae. And of course, plants take up nutrients and light through their leaves. So if the leaves are covered with algae, then obviously they're not going to grow very well or look very good. So I think those were like the three main reasons why your plants might not look as good as you want them to be. So either they're not really suitable for your setup or they're just not getting everything that they need in terms of nutrients or they're covered by some sort of algae. So now let's get to my top five tips to turn the situation around. Now I don't want to disappoint you guys, but there is no magic potion or secret skill to improve your plant colors. It all just comes down to basic things. So tip number one is start by choosing the right plants. I think we have to start with that one because I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. I've actually made an entire video about this topic as well because it, it's not really complicated, but it just requires some research. So in a video, I show my process of how I choose plants for my setup. So I'll leave a link to that video somewhere on top of the screen and in the video description. Yeah, choosing the right plants starts by looking at your own setup. So what does your tank look like? Do you have a lot of light? Are you using CO2? Do you have a nutrient rich substrate? If you don't have any of those things, it's no big deal, but then you wanna stay away from the more demanding plants and stick to the easy category plants. So if tip number one was choose the right plants, then of course tip number two is give them the right nutrients. And if you don't know what the right nutrients are, then let me quickly explain. It's very simple. With aquatic plants, we have macronutrients and we have micronutrients. So of course the macronutrients are the most important and it's nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Sometimes also referred to as N, P and K. And the micronutrients, it's a lot of them, but it's mostly iron, zinc, copper and a, and a bunch of others. Yeah, of course the easiest way to provide your plants with all of these nutrients is through a liquid fertilizer. And if you're looking for liquid fertilizer, then do check out the BRS Freshwater website because they have plenty of really good options available. Another way to do that is through a nutrient-rich substrate. And this is actually the method that I prefer myself. So I'll use a lot of nutrients in the substrate, either through an aquasol or with some root taps, and then I'll just supplement that with just a little bit of liquid fertilizer. So earlier I told you that one of the reasons why your plants might not look super colorful is because they're covered with some sort of algae. So tip number three is get yourself an algae cleanup crew. Because we can all remove algae from the glass, we can remove algae from the hardscape, but removing algae from plants, that's actually a lot more difficult. But if you have fish or you have shrimps that are constantly yeah, pecking at the algae and removing it from the plants, it's just gonna make your life so much easier. And if they clean the plants for you, then the plants can start taking up more light, they can start taking up more nutrients, and they'll start to look better within no time at all. So for me, the perfect cleanup crew is Amano shrimp, Otto Sinkless, and Cleton snails. If you have those three combined, 
your tank is going to look absolutely spotless. Okay, tip number four. Tip number four is give your plants enough light and give them good quality light. So this is a bit of a complicated topic and I don't want to bore you guys with spreadsheets about uh, photosynthetic active radiation and wavelengths and lumens. So I just want you to know this. Plants need light from a balanced spectrum and it needs to be powerful enough so that even the low growing plants can receive enough light. Now probably that $20 light that you found on Amazon doesn't really have the right spectrum and doesn't really have the right intensity. So if you want to grow those demanding plants and just those really colorful plants, I would really recommend to invest in a good quality light. And again, B-Rush Freshwater is the perfect place to do that. They have loads of really good options available. Me personally, I'm a big fan of the um, AI Blade. I've been using them for quite a while now and really a big fan of those lights. Okay, then the last one, tip number five. This one is actually a little bit more advanced. So tip number five is to reduce your nitrates. We just talked about all the different nutrients. A nitrate is a macronutrient, but it's also the one that kind of dictates how fast your plants are growing. So if you have a lot of nitrates available, your plants will grow quite fast. But if you don't have a lot of nitrate available, plants will grow a lot slower. The good thing about your plants growing slower is that they will spend more time underneath a really intense light. And the more time they spend underneath the light, the more intense the colors will be. Now, how do you reduce your nitrates? Of course, by doing water changes, but the easiest method is to just choose a liquid fertilizer that doesn't have any nitrate. And then you just rely on the nitrate that's coming from your fish poop. It's just a very simple way of doing it. Yeah, that's it. Five tips to improve your plant colors. Hope this video will be helpful. Maybe it's not the most interesting one, but I think it's a video that some people just need to, yeah, need to watch. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.